so that down. And then you go like that, and then backwards. Don't, don't put no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Just like that, that is Al Roker getting down with the legendary Dick Van Dyke. Of course, Al is America's favorite weatherman on today and also the co-host of the third hour. Now, Al, we heard you've been practicing, so we're ready. Five, six, seven, yeah. eight. Da -da. Seven, eight. Awesome. <laughs> A little chair dancer. There you go. Man, moments like that, you though, You know what, Al, be... that's funny is... Dick Van Dyke always said, if you're dancing, you can't be unhappy. You can't be mad. Is that the truth? Uh, and, and you know, what's interesting, guys, the, to the, the 48 hours, it was one of the greatest 48 hours I had as far as doing the Today Show. Uh, on the, the night before, I sat down and interviewed Don Rickles. Then the next day, I interviewed in order Betty White, Carl Reiner, and Dick Van Dyke. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't get any better than that. It was 2016. That's like American Treasures. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we were so sad to lose Carl Reiner. What do you remember most about that interview, Al? You know, just how funny he was. And yet, this gentleman, uh, this gentleman uh, but also very active, you know, did his uh, stretching exercises every morning. And, and, and the through point to all of these interviews, these living legends that I was doing, was that you just have to keep moving. Mm -hmm. You have to keep changing. And you have to keep uh, uh, trying new things. And in fact, that's kind of the, the theme of, of my new book, you, you Look So Much Better in Person, that you have to be open to trying new things. And let's face it, what's the worst thing that happens if you try something new? Right. It fails. Well, as I like to tell my kids, every great scientific invention, anything of any worth that, that, that has affected our lives, he started with a failure mm -hmm. and, and eventually became a success. It's funny, the, the title of your book goes on to say true stories of absurdity and success. Is it true that the, the, the title of the book came from people actually saying to you, you look so much better in person? Absolutely. Every, every day around 7.50, I go out, this obviously pre-pandemic, I go out to shake hands with everybody at the Today Show uh, Plaza window. And every day, at least one person says, you look so much better in person. And, and you know, you try to explain, and, and you, don't want, you, you, know, you don't want to insult people, but that's not really a compliment. It's not a compliment at all. <laughs> I'm on TV. That's where I make my living. Right. So on TV, I'm scaring children. But here, not, <laughs> not so bad. Not too bad. I always get, you look so much bigger on TV, and I'm like, well, what does that mean? I know I got a big head, but like, you're so much bigger, and I'm like. Well, Al, I'll tell you, one of the things we've been loving on Instagram is you sharing more and more about your family and more about life at home, but the question is, we were, we've been talking about it a little bit this week, how do you keep it spicy at home, you know, in quarantine? Uh, I, a lot of sriracha. <laughs> Put up the picture of them in costume. Because right. the costumes with the sriracha is a spicy sauce out. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, it, it's, um, what's interesting is, see, I'm in a different place than, say, Savannah, Hoda, Carson, Craig, Dylan. They've all got little kids. They've got to, you know, take, our boy just, Nick just turned 18. Right. You know, he doesn't even want to be around us. So it's great. It's fantastic, you know. <laughs> right. You know, they're ex all my coworkers. My, uh, they're, they're exhausted. I am living my best life. It's fantastic. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. You really are, and you got a visitor. Is this a groundhog, or who is it that showed up at your door? It's a groundhog, uh, and, and my niece is living with us. And she said, "I think there's a there's a small pig in in the basement window well." <laughs> And I said, a pig? And, I look, and then I see this groundhog. So luckily, I've got a critter guy. And he came and grabbed it and, you know, let it loose about three, four miles away. So that was that. But it, it was weird. I thought, is this like revenge for all the, the fun I've made of Punxsutawney Phil? No, I don't know. know. So, <laughs> you know, I'm hoping he means, seeing him means it's six more weeks of summer. It's, it's right. so... 
it's a hilarious little happening there. The thing I think about too, what's happening this week is Peacock launching. Uh, and that means also with Peacock launching, there's a Today Show channel. What has that yes. changed for you guys? I mean, is, are you shooting content specifically for that? Right now, we're, we, you know, we've, we've got our digital shows like I do, uh, uh, you know, the, the Cold Cuts show. Uh, Craig's got, has Dad's Got This, uh, Savannah's Six Minute Marathon. Uh, so we've all got those shows, but they're also repurposing uh, some of the best of today, some of our favorite interviews, things that have happened, places we've gone. But we're also doing an original content. That's sensational. Indeed, indeed. Brother, it is always good to see you. And man, you have the sharpest eyeglass collection we've seen. Well, I like to make a spectacle of myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the dad jokes. Pew, pew. Oh, it's so good to see you, man. You look so much better in person. Is available now. Catch Al on the third hour of today and on Peacock.